Do you ever wonder how much time you truly have left after you pass 70? Every year becomes more precious, and our bodies start sending us subtle, but powerful signals about our future. Some people in their 70s remain strong, sharp, and full of life, while others gradually slow down, burdened by health issues and fatigue. Today we're going to explore seven real, research-backed signs that can offer you a glimpse into how long you might live after 70. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to watch for in your body and lifestyle, and most importantly, what you can do to boost your chances of living longer and healthier. So, let's dive right in and uncover these seven indicators that could determine your longevity. Sign one, your walking speed. Believe it or not, one of the most straightforward and powerful indicators of longevity isn't hidden in your medical records or your genes. It's in the way you walk. Studies have shown that older adults who maintain a steady, brisk walking pace tend to live longer than those whose pace significantly slows down. Imagine two 75-year-old gentlemen, Joe and Frank. Joe takes a confident, steady walk every morning, his steps fluid and balanced. He never struggles to cross the street or climb a few stairs. Frank, however, has slowed down over the years. He often takes breaks, clutches onto railings, and seems unsure of every step. While Joe's brisk pace is a sign of robust cardiovascular health, strong muscles, and good brain function, Frank's slow gait could be warning of muscle weakness, poor circulation, or early neurological decline. Your walking speed reflects the overall condition of your muscles, joints, and even your brain. The good news? It's a modifiable factor. Simple exercises, like regular walks, gentle leg strengthening activities, or even using light resistance bands, can help you improve your pace. So, if you feel you're slowing down, don't ignore it. It might be your body's way of telling you to take action now to keep moving through life with vigor. Sign two, your grip strength. Next up, consider the strength of your handshake. It may sound trivial, but research has found that your grip strength is a remarkably clear indicator of your overall vitality. A firm, steady grip suggests not only robust muscle health, but also good circulation and a well-functioning nervous system. Let me share a quick story. Robert, a 78-year-old man, prided himself on his strong handshake. He stayed active, did light, weightlifting, and never had trouble opening jars or carrying groceries. Contrast this with his friend Walter, also 78, who recently noticed that even simple tasks like twisting a bottle cap or holding a grocery bag had become challenging. Walter dismissed these signs as just a part of aging, not realizing that his weakening grip might signal a loss of muscle mass, and possibly a higher risk of falls and other health complications. If your hands feel weaker than they used to, it might be time to add some strength-building exercises to your routine. Squeezing a tennis ball, using hand grippers, or even lifting light weights can help maintain and even improve your grip strength. A firm grip today could very well mean the difference between maintaining your independence tomorrow. If you're finding these insights useful, please comment two below to let me know you're with me on this journey. Sign three, your ability to stand on one leg. Balance might not be something you consciously think about until it starts to fail you, but your ability to stand on one leg is a surprisingly strong predictor of longevity. Researchers have found that if you can stand on one leg for at least 10 seconds without wobbling, you're more likely to enjoy a longer, healthier life. Consider two women in their early 70s, Carol and Nancy. Carol has always been active. She walks daily, practices yoga, and can easily balance on one leg for several seconds. Nancy, on the other hand, rarely pays attention to her balance. When she tries to stand on one leg, she immediately starts to tip and needs to grab onto something for support. Nancy's struggle isn't merely an inconvenience. It's a signal that her muscle coordination, strength, and even brain function may be declining. Good balance isn't just about preventing falls. It reflects the strength of your legs and the sharpness of your nervous system. And here's the encouraging part. Balance can be improved. Simple activities like practicing standing on one foot 
walking heel to toe, or even engaging in light Tai Chi can help rebuild your stability and confidence. So why not try it right now? Stand up, lift one foot, and see if you can hold that position for 10 seconds. If it's a challenge, don't worry. Just know that this is a call to action for your health. Sign four, your sleeping patterns. Sleep is when your body repairs itself, clears toxins, and rejuvenates for the day ahead. It turns out that your quality of sleep is a strong predictor of how long you might live. Older adults who enjoy consistent, high-quality sleep tend to live longer, while those plagued by poor sleep patterns are at greater risk of heart disease, memory decline, and a weakened immune system. Imagine two men in their mid-70s, Henry and Bill. Henry goes to bed at the same time every night, enjoys about seven hours of restful sleep, and wakes up feeling refreshed and ready to seize the day. Bill, however, tosses and turns all night, waking up multiple times and struggling to fall back asleep. Over time, Henry's steady sleep supports his energy levels and overall health, whereas Bill's disrupted sleep has left him feeling foggy, fatigued, and even experiencing changes in his blood pressure. If you find yourself waking up tired, having trouble staying asleep, or feeling like your sleep quality has declined over the years, it's time to reassess your nighttime habits. Simple changes like reducing screen time before bed, sticking to a regular sleep schedule, and creating a calming pre-sleep routine can make a significant difference. If you're here and finding these tips helpful, drop a four in the comments to show you're on board with improving your sleep. Sign five, your appetite and eating habits. How you eat after 70 can reveal a lot about your future health. A healthy appetite and a balanced diet are key to maintaining strength, a resilient immune system, and steady energy levels. Conversely, AA, sudden loss of appetite or poor eating habits might signal underlying health issues. Take the example of two women, Margaret and Susan, both 74 years old. Margaret enjoys her meals, preparing a variety of fresh whole foods that keep her energized and satisfied. She looks forward to each meal as a time to nourish her body. Susan, however, has noticed a gradual decline in her appetite. She often skips meals, relies on processed foods, and has unintentionally lost weight. What Susan doesn't realize is that her declining appetite is a red flag. It could indicate that her body isn't absorbing nutrients properly, which can lead to muscle loss, a slower metabolism, and even compromised immune function. Eating well isn't just about staying full. It's about providing your body with the fuel it needs to repair and rejuvenate. Focus on whole, nutrient-dense foods. Lean proteins, plenty of fruits and vegetables, and healthy fats to ensure you're getting the necessary nutrients to support your strength and independence. Sign six, your ability to handle stress. Stress is a silent killer and how you manage it after 70 can have a profound impact on your longevity. Chronic stress doesn't just affect your mood, it weakens your immune system, raises your risk of heart disease, and can even accelerate the aging process. Consider two 76-year-old men, John and Richard. John, like many of us, faces daily challenges, unexpected, expenses, minor health scares, and family concerns. However, he has learned to manage these stresses with a calm, steady approach. He practices deep breathing, stays socially engaged, and doesn't let small problems overwhelm him. Richard, on the other hand, clings to stress. He worries constantly, feels overwhelmed by everyday frustrations, and finds himself trapped in negative thought patterns. Over time, Richard's chronic stress has led to higher blood pressure, poor sleep, and a constant feeling of fatigue. Managing stress isn't about eliminating challenges, it's about how you respond to them. Techniques like mindfulness, meditation, regular exercise, and even a good laugh can help lower stress levels and improve your overall health. Remember, your ability to stay calm and focused isn't just good for your mind. It's a key factor in how long and well you live. If you're finding value in these insights, please comment six below to let me know you're taking control of your stress. Sign seven, 
your social connections. Finally, let's talk about the power of human connection. Numerous studies have shown that strong social ties, whether with family, friends, or your community, are linked to longer, healthier lives. In contrast, loneliness and social isolation can significantly increase the risk of health problems, including heart disease, depression, and even cognitive decline. Imagine two, women Eleanor and Barbara both 78 years old. Eleanor is deeply connected with others. She regularly meets up with friends, participates in community events, and enjoys lively conversations that brighten her day. Barbara, however, has gradually become more isolated. Though she has family, she rarely reaches out, and over time, her sense of loneliness has begun to affect her mood and overall health. The warmth of social interactions not only lifts your spirits, it has a measurable impact on your physical well-being, keeping your brain active and your body healthier. Even small efforts to nurture your relationships can pay huge dividends, whether it's scheduling a regular phone call with an old friend, joining a local club, or simply making it a point to have meaningful conversations, investing in your social life is investing in your longevity. Now that we've covered these seven signs, your walking speed, grip strength, balance, sleep patterns, appetite, stress management, and social connections, it's time to reflect on what they mean. For you, are you moving through life with strength and confidence? Or have you noticed subtle changes that could be warning signs? The encouraging truth is that most of these factors can be improved with simple, conscious changes. Your future isn't set in stone. By taking small steps, like walking a bit faster, strengthening your grip, practicing balance exercises, improving your sleep habits, adjusting your diet, managing stress, and nurturing your social ties, you can actively enhance your longevity and quality of life. It's not merely about adding years to your life. It's about adding life to your years. Every smart choice you make today is an investment in a stronger, healthier, and happier tomorrow. Your body is constantly communicating with you. Listening to these signals and responding accordingly is the key to maintaining your independence and zest for life. Before I sign off, I'd love to hear from you. Which of these signs resonates with you the most? Have you noticed any of these changes in your own life? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you found these insights valuable, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that can help you live your best life. Thank you for spending this time with me today. Remember, your health is your most precious asset. Cherish it, nurture it, and let every day be a step toward a longer, fuller, and more vibrant life. Until next time, my friends, stay active, stay connected, and keep moving forward. You've got this.